Hi, my name is Mofolu Shade Shonaike and they call me the Montpreneur. I must apologize, really. I really, really wanted to be at this conference, but I had to travel last minute. So Chichi is here, behind the scenes, <laughs> to, to get my own presentation because I absolutely, absolutely love what she does. Um, inspiring young women is also my thing. And I must, I mean, just manage this video for now. This is what I have to offer because I absolutely, I mean, it wasn't planned. I committed to this, but I had to leave. All right, so I will start with the quote. I mean, she says the theme is, what's your excuse? What is your excuse? And there's this quote that I really love so much by Jim Rohn, which says, if you want to do something, you find a way. And if you really do not want to do it, you would find an excuse. A lot of times, people don't achieve greatness because they have all sorts of things going through their head. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, I'm too young. Oh, I'm too this and that and that. And, you know, before I got uh, started this recording, I had a long discussion with Chichi, you know, just talking about her story. Her story alone is a lot of inspiration. And my presentation will just focus on four main things. I mean, five main excuses that people usually have that make you um, fail or make you think that you're a failure and not do anything that you're supposed to do. And the first one, I am not good enough. Many times we want to be perfect. You think, oh, I have to be perfect. It has to be perfect. Uh, people will laugh at me or this and that and that. But really, it's all in your head. I always tell people, and sometimes you think people do not have anything else to do than to be waiting and looking for your mistakes. I know there are some people like that, especially on social media. But so what? Step out if you really want to do something. It doesn't have to be perfect. We talked about, I mean, Chichi and I talked about how she started this whole initiative. And at the beginning, it wasn't fully clear. She gained clarity as she went on. You have to do for you to even know whether it's going to work or not. So step out. What is that thing that you're afraid of doing? Step out and start. It's not an excuse that holds water. So I've debunked that first one. The second excuse. Oh, I'm too young. I can give you a list of examples of really young people who have done phenomenal things because they didn't look at that excuse of, oh, I'm too young to do this. Oh no, let me wait till I graduate from school. Let me, people who started business in school and achieved a lot because they started. There's nothing about, age is just a number. There's nothing about, oh, I need to wait till I get this and start where you are. Especially now when we have social media, life is a lot easier. A really small young girl, or if she has a phone and a laptop, there's so much you can achieve, even with those things without having to go and pay for airtime somewhere or whatever. What is it that you have? Just start. You are not too young to start, right? I mean, if we, I mean I've seen this many times. Many of the leaders that we have had in the past, great men in Nigeria that changed the course of Nigeria, were in their late 20s, early 30s. So what are we talking about? You can do, you can make a difference. Age is not a limitation or a setback. The next thing, okay, I know I said this initially, but people will laugh at me. One thing I normally do that helps me overcome that fear is, so what if they laugh at me? If you laugh, me too, I'll join you and laugh. That's it now. That's the worst that will happen. I understand that a lot of young people are, are set back by peer pressure. So you, you always want to look good, you always want to look perfect. But a lot of times, the people that look perfect from afar are really not perfect. Just do what you have to do. Forget about whether people will laugh at you. I have a client that I coach. And sometimes before she posts, you know, she, she does essential oils. Every time she'll call me, two days ago she called me, I said, Shadi, I've done this video and I can't post it on Instagram. I'm scared. And I'm like, what are you scared? She said, hey, critics, people will be this, this. But I said, if you don't post it, nobody would ever see it. I know there are some people that would laugh at you. If they, if they laugh at you, maybe you block. If you need to block, sometimes you have to be dramatic. If you need to block those people out of your space, Block them out. But sometimes criticism is good because if you take, you just take the things that you need that would help you get better and you move on. If you don't start, you will never improve. It starts from somewhere. So forget about that. People will laugh at me. When they laugh, join them, laugh. <laughs> and you move on. What's the worst that will happen? It doesn't kill you. It doesn't take anything away from you. It doesn't make you less than who you are already. The next excuse, I don't have money. I don't have time. I don't have enough experience. Nobody was born with experience. You get experience by doing. You know, I mean, I will give the example of when, I mean, I, there was time I used to host a video show on Inspiration FM. 
and suddenly something happened, we didn't have enough money and he was taking off air. I, I, I always tell people that that period I was so devastated and I was thinking, ah, you know, I felt like everything has been taken away from me. What, what can I do? What can I do? But then someone just, it was just one day because sometimes something might be staring you in the face and you think it just doesn't occur to you. So somebody mentioned, hey, YouTube is there. The internet is there. Use what you have. So I started, I started doing stuff online, putting stuff on Instagram, <coughs> putting stuff on the internet, and I must tell you, I am more popular now, or I have made more impact, let me not, because it's not about popularity, I have made more impact now, being off the radio, than I made when I was on radio, because you know what, I set away all those limitations, and used what I have, it doesn't cost anything. I'm telling you, it's not, I mean, now I have a camera and I have lights and all that. Then I did, all I had was my laptop and I put on the webcam, sit in front of it. Or sometimes I hold my phone. Yes, you have phones. Hold your phone, put it and do the video and post it. The main thing is knowing what your message is, knowing what your purpose is, a, a purpose is and just focusing on sending that message out there. The next and the final excuse that people have is, it has, nobody has done it before. You know how it is when you have a really brilliant idea and people just look at you like that. No, that one cannot fly in Nigeria. Somebody tried it and he failed. So and so tried it and he failed. Cut out naysayers from your life. When you want to do something, the reason why it's phenomenal, the reason why it breaks barriers and all of that is because nobody has been able to do it successfully. So do it. Do it until you try. Don't let people tell you it hasn't been done before. There's a way we've always been doing it. Blah, blah, blah. This cannot work. That cannot work. You don't know that it cannot work until you try. There's something about time and chance. Maybe somebody tried it when it was ahead of time, or somebody tried it when it wasn't meant to be. Everybody has something that God has put in them that they need to put out there to change the world. So what is that thing? Step out and do it. I will close with this. I don't know what it is that you, uh, that you have, that gift. I mean, I will go back to purpose. Finding your purpose. What is that thing that, that you are supposed to do? That thing that you're supposed to add to the world, that thing that you're supposed to, because everybody has something like that. And the moment you find that, it gives you wings to fly. Nothing will hold you back and nothing will stop you. Thank you so much. It was great speaking with all of you. And you can connect with me. I'm happy to mentor. Um, I mean, Chichi has told me she'll connect me with my mentors. I will look forward to meeting you when, <coughs> when I get back. Thank you. Cheers.